Cranking Out Crafts. My name's Jay Plo, and we are here at the Mapuna Puna store, and I'm going to show you how to make this adorable balloon. We're calling it the Balloon Boutique here at Ben Franklin. So what you'll need is an air pump, a Mylar balloon, we have a cone, and then also a 5 16 This is a stick clear tube. And some curling ribbon, and also some mylar sheets that are cut 10 by 10 for cello. So to get started, I have inserted the air pump inside the balloon, and I'm just going to give it a few more pumps to make it full. And these will pop, so you won't want to go too full. So do it slowly as soon as the air starts filling up. Next, I'm going to put it inside a basket because we're going to be working with this and it might be floundering around. And if you come closer, I can show you how you'll insert it inside this little cup. So this cup here, this funnel, has a opening here and then two little slits. So we're going to insert the bottom of the balloon inside that opening and then come around and hook it in that little slit. Sometimes It's tight, but that's good. You want it tight in there. There we go. So the balloon doesn't flounder around. So now that it's in, it won't move around. And next, we're going to take, let's take one of these mylar sheets. Actually, we'll end up taking five of them, 10 by 10. This one's a cellar. I keep calling it mylar because you can use mylar. And hold it in the center. And at that point right there, you're going to take a low temperature glue gun and put glue kind of all around. And then, in not insert, but just press it on the cone, not on the mylar balloon. And we'll do this with five sheets. That's the first one. These balloons are great for all occasions. You can do it for Mother's Day. You can do this for birthdays, weddings, and even graduation the low temperature glue again and I'm spacing it out we're gonna do five of the first color then five of the second low temperature glue gun you don't want to get your finger in there take it in the center glue kind of all the way around and just press it stick it on there that the basket too is good. I found some trash cans work out perfect where my balloon sits perfectly in. It's just helpful so it doesn't flounder around. Okay, so this is four. Hot glue. And you don't want it to get on the balloon. Again, you don't want this hot glue to get on the balloon. So make sure you're going around and avoiding any openings that are in that cone. And my last pink cellophane sheet. I'm going to do a little bit of glue. And then, so these are all pretty evenly spaced around for the first layer of a skirt, we'll call it. And then next we'll take the black polka dot cellophane We'll do five of these sheets, again, pulling it from the center. Some glue. And I go in between where we had the pink and set it. So you can see it's starting to get nice and full. These colors look great with this. Again, this is great for all occasions. You can put this um, on a stick and just hand it to someone at a recital, maybe a congratulations, or at a graduation, give it to someone. It's a very unique gift. 
You can also use it as centerpieces if you want, or if someone's in the hospital. The other great thing is we're using air and not helium to do this, and that's really beneficial. A lot of times at graduations or different places, they don't want helium where the balloon can fly away. This way, it's just air. It's not going to fly away, and it's really stuck on that um, funnel as well. All right, we are almost done. One more sh um, sheet after this, and that will complete all five of our cellophane pieces. And this doesn't take long at all. All right, so there we are. And now for the final touches, we are going to take curling ribbon. And I've already tied this one in a bow and curled the ends. I'm going to take a little dot of glue and apply it to the bottom underneath here, just on top of some of the cellophane. Right there. And I'll do that again. So these are about 36 to 48 inches long. Tie a quick bow. And I've got three of them. Quick bow. And then take my scissors and curl. Just like that. Instant pretty. You can use tutu material tool for this um, bottom. You can use other types of ribbon just to add a different look to the bottom and attach that. And then we have this clear stick right here. This clear stick is really cool because you can actually take a glow stick and insert it inside. That would make it glow. And voila! It's really, really cute way to give a balloon with this fancy little skirt. We're calling it Balloon Boutique at Ben Franklin. You can also use a 5 16th dowel rod to insert up in there. Also, and that will make it shorter so you can make a cute little centerpiece as well.